Each person's actions and thoughts create the meaning of this life. Have you ever asked yourself what you have learned, how you are improving through each day, and how you can live to the fullest? A scientist has proved that the probability that every human being is born into this world is one in seven billion. We are born to live only once, so we must live in such a way that we do not regret leaving this life. Life is like a road. Runners must try their best to reach the finish line fastest. Every time we try, we give our best to this life, and after each dedication, we have left many meaningful imprints on life. Life is like that. Living it to the fullest is the meaning of life. Dedication is not a useless job. It is an act of giving back to life. When you were born into this life, you have received a lot of things, so you should know how to give and give to deserve what you receive. Life is always associated with our efforts. When we do not know how to strive, or do not know how to give, it is a selfish lifestyle. On the other hand, living to the fullest is a way to awaken our potential, the capacity hidden deep inside each person, when we try to do something. That not only helps us live better and fully, but also helps society to develop more and more. Each of us is a cell of society. If everyone gives their best, it will be a civilized and modern society. Are you ready to listen to the methods that help us live to the fullest? Let's start. Realize that life is a journey, not a destination. This sounds ridiculous, but it is true. Remember that the process is much more important than the result. Living to the fullest is what you have to spend your whole life to do. Don't be disheartened by the time you spend learning new things or encountering failures in life. Be honest with yourself and others. When we deceive ourselves, we prevent ourselves from learning new things and developing our abilities. When we cheat on others, we damage close relationships. Many times, we lie because we're scared of facing the truth and getting hurt. It's difficult to be honest with ourselves, but once we do, we can live our lives to the fullest. Learn the way to accept. We often spend a lot of time looking at the things we don't like about ourselves. Spending all your time focusing on things you don't like or things from the past makes you unable to focus on the future. Learn to love yourself in the present moment. Determine your worth. Self-worth is faith. Reflecting on your values will help you set goals for yourself. You will feel happy when you live according to your values. Fight for what you always believe in, don't let the opinions of others influence you. Challenge negative thinking. Negative thinking and self-criticism can't help you make progress or achieve your goals. Instead, be kind to yourself. For example, if you keep blaming yourself for your mistakes, you need to challenge these with positive thinking. Instead of thinking you are a failure, you will have your solution. Think freely about self-criticism. Be flexible. One reason we become depressed is that we always expect too much of everything. Life is always changing. You should allow yourself to change and grow and learn to get used to every situation. Cultivate positive emotions and learn to observe negative situations to gain experience. Body care. You only have this one body, so make sure it stays healthy on your journey of discovery and learning. Eat healthy foods, eat lots of vegetables, drink enough water and exercise regularly. Live in reality. Set your goals based on your abilities. Proceed with each step with certainty. Set meaningful goals for yourself. Don't compare yourself to others and maintain your goals with self-discipline. Besides, make sure to achieve your goals through your efforts. Choosing for yourself a suitable way of life is necessary. It will guide us in the right direction. Hope the above sharing will help you have a more comprehensive view of how to live to the fullest so that you can determine the right purpose in life.